Honorable, welcome to the program. Thank you. Well, what, what is it that motivated us today for the brain politics? I think um, the number one thing is to be able to provide a service and to be able to, I mean, when I say to be able to provide a service to mankind, we are talking about being able to live in the status quo of our community, being able um, to be at the center of humanity. And, uh, and, and, and more so, I thought I had an idea on how to make our community better than the I would love to recommend you. You worked tirelessly on the, doing the funeral of the Yes, well, it's not, I mean, it's, it's, it's not only death, I mean, death is death. I think, uh, I mean, I got some questions on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Why is it that the council has gone out of his way to be able to assist the family during, I mean, uh, this tragic, uh, I mean, uh, moment? Look, uh, it, it just that maybe Davy was a public figure, was a celebrity. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say that the only family will be able to, I mean, to, 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 to assist. Uh, for your information, I think we are the only ward in Lusaka where, where, I mean, which has a dedicated bus, a 65-seater bus, just to fairly mourners. Okay. I mean, the duty, the function of this bus every morning is merely um, to go to funerals and help the believed family. I mean, I think, I mean in, in, in terms of uh, I mean, uh, transport, by transporting the mourners from the funeral home I and mean, then all the way to the graveyard to and forth. And we don't ask I mean, for anything from the believed family. You know, sometimes, I mean, uh, I mean, which is okay. Uh, in certain communities, if I'm, gonna, if I'm going to give you transport or you know, provide you with a vehicle, perhaps I'll ask you to contribute in terms of fuel. But for us, we provide both transport as well as, our, I mean, we go to these funerals with our own fuel without having to ask the believed family uh, I mean, uh, for any contribution. So, there, there are many other things that we women, there are many other, I mean, funerals we've been able to attend to, except they were never, they are, they are never publicized. His was the case with the baby's funeral. Oh, okay. Now, what has that led you to, what has led you to aspire as a member of parliament away from the country? There's absolutely nothing for anyone to aspire mm -hmm. for a position that is higher than where they are. But for public service, mm -hmm. I think it's it's the it's the community members. It is it it is it, it is the citizens who decide, as opposed to you having to volunteer yourself. So I want to be this. So we will wait for the people of uh, I mean Matero to make that decision. Yeah, if they think that we've been very relevant during the tenure of our office, mm -hmm. and they want to elevate us to another position, ours is to accept the challenge and be at the center of their service. Why should the people of Matero adopt you as a member of parliament? If, I mean, as I indicated earlier on, if they think that we've demonstrated leadership, if they think that among the people we compete in, then we, we will stand out to be favorite. I think it, the people of Matero are so smart, they are so intelligent, mm -hmm. they know what they want. And it's not for me to tell them to settle for me or any other person, it's for themselves to decide because they know what they want and they know all of us and um, they, 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 are, they are better placed to choose their leadership. Away from politics, I know you are the CEO of Eden University. How do you help the, how do you help the less privileged people at the university or those people who can't manage to pay for their tuition fees? How do you help them? Well, uh, I think we've got quite a number of initiatives I mean, as, a, as an institution. I think, I mean, first and foremost, uh, you know that Eden University the main office is in Balaston Park, it's in Garumi. Yes. And for any other business fellow, I mean, uh, they will be very reluctant to put up uh, such a great investment in such, a, I mean, in such, in, in such an area. Um, but then, uh, for us, it's not about uh, the investment, it's, a, it's, it's, it's about fairness, it's about equity. Exactly. Yeah, because mm -hmm. every human being, despite, or in, despite and, and in spite of where they are, mm -hmm. they, dis, they mean, they, they, they're supposed to get some fair access to quality education. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier on, we've got a number of initi initiatives. Okay. We've got a number of students that we, we are supporting right there at the university. Yeah, nice. And for your information, even under councillor's office, mm -hmm. as I speak, mm -hmm. we have over 706 children in all high schools. Uh, who are being supported through the Castellans Initiative, wow. where we are spending um, roughly about 435000 every year. Okay, We have 
over 100 kids at Dada Kaimba, over 100 kids at Nelson Mandela, over 100 kids at Mchinga, and we have over 100 kids, I mean, over 100 kids at, I mean, at Tende Pamozi, nearly in all these schools, including those schools which are outside our jurisdiction. Oh. I, mean, I mean, by jurisdiction, I mean outside, I mean, our, I mean the, the, outside, outside the world, in other words, yes. So, as long as they are residents of Mondeshi, even those outside Mondeshi. So, we, in terms of supporting kids, we've done it. I mean, in terms of supporting also these institutions, we have made sure that all the schools in Mandesh, we've been able to donate at least a minimum of 50 des desks per school. Okay? And when you talk about 50 desks per school, one desk costs about uh, 900 kwacha. I mean, that's the current price. So you can imagine that is about 35,000 kwacha. That's the minimum. But in a couple of schools, we've been able to donate about 100. We've donated 100 at Mchinga, a basic school. We donated 100 desks. At I mean, attended Pamozi. Okay, we've donated 50 desks at Chunga High School. We've donated 50 desks at I mean Nelson Mandela, and we are here to donate about 100 uh, desks at uh, Chunga High School as well as an Amando Business School. Yeah. So we are uh, doing. Uh, we, 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 we were attempted to do. I mean, I mean, I mean we, we, have, we have attempted to do everything possible. I mean, within the confines of our resources to try and transform Mwembesh Ward from... My last words to the viewers is that, look, I mean, politics is a competition of ideas. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think time has come that we must choose leaders on the basis of ideas, mm -hmm. on the basis of ability, exactly. on the basis of leadership. And this is not leadership that we'll have to experiment. We're talking about try and tested leadership. Um, moving forward, as we get uh, into 2021, my appeal to the viewers is that they will take time to analyze every single individual who presents themselves for service or for public service. And I can only hope that ultimately the Zambian people... Thank you very much, Honorable, for making an appearance in the vibe with Leon. It's always a pleasure, and I look forward to many other interactions. Okay. All right, there you have it, viewers. I was talking to Honorable Kelvin Kaunda, the councillor, ward councillor, one of the councillors in uh, Matero constituency and aspirant a member of parliament in Matero as well. One of the aspirants. That's if the people would vote for him. Yes. We are beaming you all the way from Nomad's Court Lodge. My name is Leon Escalumiana and this is the vibe with Leon. Era 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 King Deza Pamuera era Matisha. A copa eco muni Walsaka Bon say a pass away from Tambaso and Vibe with Leon, not Lion, but Leon. Leon. at a nomad's court lodge that is a place to be we are at uh, chadley i'm just super hungry and i just want to grab something to eat uh, join me let's see what uh, she share my how are you <laughs> <laughs> ah good no my tummy i know it looks a bit flat exactly i'm hungry yeah? <laughs> okay, so i'm just gonna walk you through what we have on, uh, on display okay and then i'm gonna obviously dish for you so ah, what you nice. can see is we have some yorkshire puddings mm -hmm. uh, which are basically a mixture of flour and egg uh, and a bit of milk. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we've got our homemade gravy, um, okay. special gravy, obviously made by me. Then here wow. we have our roast potatoes, 
Okay. Uh -huh. And you have some arroz chicken over here. Okay, just uh, just there before you go very far. Mm -hmm. Made by you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How did you discover this? Well, basically, um, obviously growing up in England, worked wow. in a few places, uh, a few okay. pubs and restaurants. That's why I learned how to obviously make this, this, this kind of food. Let me test it. Yeah, sure. It just looks like it's the best meal. Oh, yeah. Ah. So what do you call this? It's kind of unique. This is a Yorkshire pudding. Let me just get some tongs for you. So this is a Yorkshire pudding. Mm, okay. I'm super hungry. Hey, super hungry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some roast potatoes as well. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. So the secret with the Yorkshire is you get the gravy, put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Okay. So, so uh, like, um, what drove you into this? Because I know, like, every Sunday you have you have a new meal. Every Sunday you have a new meal. How how do you come up with it? <sighs> Passion. Um, you know, willingness to learn as well, new mm -hmm. ideas. You know, I don't just know how to cook a Sunday curry. I can cook you Italian, Thai food, I can cook you English food. Um, you name it, I can do it. So it's just one of those things whereby you know you wake up and you know, okay, you, you try and bring a smile. Let's do it, with, uh, Chef Mike. Yeah, Chef Mike. Yes. So how long have you been cooking? Uh, for about three years. Now. Chef Mike, thank you very much uh, for making an appearance on the Vibe with Leon. Trust me, we really appreciate um, you coming all the way to Zambia, coming back to your motherland to make sure that at least uh, you bring back whatever you've learned abroad. We really appreciate and um, I believe the viewers and everyone they're going to come and support this because the meal is super good and the talent it just shows even um, you are in the final it just shows out of over 40 people that are there just shows that this is super good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Yeah? See 